and to those watching uh, in India and uh, the region around. The Indian captain winning the toss and doing uh, the expected thing of uh, electing to bat first. Yes, there will be a bit of bounce in it for Alan Donald. But Vikram Rathor's got uh, runs behind him. He's got 150 in the three-day match. And uh, he's replaced uh, W.V. Raman. Not much of a crowd uh, in as yet. Perhaps uh, they'll come in a little uh, later. But of course, the holiday season is over. Schools have uh, reopened here in South Africa. People have started to go back to work. So perhaps uh, the crowd will come in uh, slowly over the next uh, few days. Morning, Robin. Morning, Sonny. We've got quite a bird's eye view from over here, haven't we? We seem to be very high in the stand here. And the first ball astray down the leg side. Firmly struck. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Opening phase of the bat through the covers and four runs. Yes, it really was a fine shot. And, uh, of course, Mongia will be happy to get that off the middle. Anyone that drives Alan Donald through the covers. Me too. Goes for a hook shot. Didn't quite get it. It's falling safely. Pollock just testing and they're going for two. They'll have to be a little bit quick here. In the end, they do it quite easily. Andrew Hudson doing the... So on. And, and we just simply can't do that here because um, although it looks small on your screen, for us it's quite a large difference. Well, that's a terrific shot from Vikram Rathor. The ball, and he, was, he felt then he was confident enough that it wasn't going to seem if he hit through the line he would get a boundary, and he certainly did. This man shows great class. Oh, every time a fast bowler is hit for runs, the follow-through is invariably stopped there itself. Well, that's another good delivery, but it was a no ball. Well, the batsman gets more relaxed, but he has an opportunity to play a long inning. And the very first ball spinning away from... Rator and he's gone. Well, Rator has not played Paul Adams before simply because he has not stayed long enough at the crease. This time he's uh, stayed at the crease for almost 95 minutes. But reaching out for this one and a simple catch to Dave Richardson behind the wicket. Cyril Mixley raising that dreaded finger. And Vikram Rathor begins a long walk back. He's out for 13 and in going to have a bowl. And this is a good ploy by Hansi Kronier to get Donald in just before the lunch break. And having said that, he's beautifully played through the covers. Lovely shot by Mongia, and it's going to be four runs. If you play like to play your strokes. This is the plus point with the South African team because Indians have not scored many runs so far and they can afford to have good uh, closing fielder, a firm stroke, a firm push. This is get him about, uh, I think to get about three, long chase for Hensi. And this is a sign of a good player because he get, got into position straight away and he's a very fine player. Stamp it out, stop with his leg. And a fluent cover drive. You cannot ask for better. And the ball was there to hit. And Mongia made full use of that juicy half volley. And uh, this is what the sign of... The batsmen, all of them have been up to it. Out! Bowled him out! The miss by Richardson has cost Alan Donald nothing. South Africa nothing. And India have lost their second wicket of this third test match. Well, Nan Mungia didn't, didn't seem as if he was getting his concentration right after lunch. He did a very good job uh, before lunch, but somehow seemed a little out of sorts. Uh, was dropped, played an airy drive at the next one, and this time the ball going through between bat and pad, perhaps brushing the back pad just a little bit. 
and crashing onto the stumps. And that's the second Indian wicket down for 46. Nayan Mongia is out for 21. New batsman, India's captain, Sachin back. A little fortuitous. I think, Robin, perhaps it was uh, just a little deliberate. Uh, he saw it short, it was wide. There is no deep. In the air. But just wide of Paul Adams, who will chase this, but in vain. Four more. Sean Pollock had uh, Sachin Tendulkar caught uh, that ball. Oh, what a lovely shot. That is absolutely ma perfect straight drive just past the feet of the bowler. It won't get four, but it's a lovely shot nonetheless. What a lovely shot. Sachin Tendulkar getting the width and uh, he's not going to say no to that one. Thank you, Alan. And why not? I mean, Sachin is the kind of player who likes to... Rahul Dravid had seen the gap. The ball was asking to be hit. It was short. That's right. He looks a good cricketer, but he's got to apply himself more. Got to concentrate more. Now, when they hit like that, they stay hit. It's a magnificent cover drive. That's Tendulkar at his best. That's exactly what I said. He likes to dominate the bowlers and what a magnificent... Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Absolutely brilliant. Again, Sachin Tendulkar looking ominously good. Waiting his time. This was the third delivery on a similar line. But this one slightly closer to him, and look at that. No great force at all. Absolute poetry. Superb timing. Perp the South African team had no chance. Well, that's classic Tindulka. It really is super. It went behind square in the air. He's back uh, and bowling his second spell after lunch. And Tendulkar once again never lose an opportunity whenever there's a loose delivery and first ball. A shot outside the off stump and he played it brilliantly. Magnificent square cut getting right in position. So Hansi Kronier, the sixth bowler used today. What a luxury that is to be able to toss the ball just about anyone in the field and tell them to have a bowl. And he's got him, Brian McMillan, great catch. Tendulkar just wafting a one outside half stump and McMillan tidies up and does the rest. So well, that's a big blow for India. Very good wicket for South Africa. This is a wicket they were looking for all this time. And as I said earlier, because I think after playing those quickies, there's always a chance with Batsman when a medium pacer comes on to bowl. And if you see the ball was not there to be drived and it's slightly outside the off stump. We played it too early, but a perfect wicket uh, for South Africa. And you can see from uh, McMillan's face and as well from Captain Hansi's face that this is the one they were looking for all this afternoon. Well, Jimmy, you read it. He said he had to be a little bit careful because of the change of pace, and I'm sure that's what got him. 35 in 55 balls. India, 100 for three. Sachin Tendulka sitting in the change room now. Pretty handy average, that. 46.41. But not too many runs in this current series. Coming back to Tendulkar, and I think he must be quite annoyed. What a way to start uh, when you face a first ball and then hit it over the rope. You cannot ask for a better start. So that shows that it is a strong area outside the off stump, and hence he's not the quickest bowler in the side, just medium. So that gives a lot of opportunity and time for Gangoli to get into position and just pushing out, say, the off stump and timing it beautifully. Right off the middle of the bat. No real power there. He 
He's off stump was and a full toss and leg stump, a loose delivery and Dravid is not missing the opportunity. It's a bad, bad miss. Very bad miss here. Should have stopped. There was no excuse for that. I think he just took his eyes off the ball. And it'll be interesting to see again. Gary. That's a fine drive by Driver. That'll be four. Well played indeed. Hansu Kroenio on that stage just over pitching a little bit. And the batsman doing the rest. That's well played. It's really money for jam. They had a short delivery from Kroenio. Manny mentioned there's not too much venom in this pitch. Not too quick. And uh, Raul Driver had plenty of time to just uh, select where he was going to. That's a fine shot. That'll be four. That's well played indeed. That's a great shot from Raul Dravid with outside off stump. Took full him. And there it is. That's well played. That's a boundary. That's a very good shot as well. And that's a very, very, very good 50 to Raul Dravid. He has, pl has played superbly. Batting number three today for India, 53 runs of 133 balls in 174 minutes, and that really has been impressive. Quick delivery, and he pulled it nicely, he got into position very early, and it's over the rope. Four more runs for India, 151 for three, and you don't. And shot one, he picked up very well. And over the rope, it's a big six. Well, Adams does seem to be having a bit of bother bowling to the left-hander, uh, Saurav Ganguly. Not able to get his flight right. This is short turning into him. And although there's an extra fielder now added, the silly point taken off, Ganguly getting beautifully into position to hit it into the crowd. He knew that uh, it was a leg spinner coming into him. Going back, picking up very early, getting into position, and another beautiful stroke, a thumping cover drive, and definitely put a lot of pressure on Adams. Well, this is as good a drive as uh, one would hope to throw Ganguly. Another very loose ball, and it's four runs all the way, well put away there. It really was a good shot by Ganguly. He's also, I think, another... 77. Well, that's another good stroke. Hansi Kinrea trying to get a Yorker in there, but what good timing. His feet didn't move too much. Chose the gap, however, perfectly, and Ganguly. It's going very fine. He won't get there. It's his 50, and a very, very fine 50 it is. At the same time, it's India's 200 up, 202 for three, and Ganguly looks up to the crowd looks up to the sky, looks up to the men showing those flags in support of the Indian team and a 50 comes up. This is uh, nicely played and it's uh, running away towards the boundary. Adams is after it, just, oh no, he couldn't scoop it back and the ball. Now, Raul Dravid has played the pull shot pretty well throughout this innings, and of all of them that he's played, he had less control over that one than any of the others. However, he's got four for it. In the air, and out, caught McMillan. Ganguly goes. South Africa have made their breakthrough that they required, and India are 245 for four. Well, he's made that mistake before in the series, just poking his bat out to hang. And he is disappointed with himself, but he has only himself to blame. Look at that now, no movement of the back foot at all. He's just trying to steer it. And Brian McMillan taking a very, very good catch low to his left. And isn't Lance Klusner happy? Those big hands uh, clasping that catch. Sauro Ganguly is out for 73, India 245 for four.
and that's it. He gets past Paul Adams and lovely. What's absolute beautiful square drive that is laying back on his feet. Perfect contact with the bat and absolute precision bounded. And as I enjoying the ball onto his bat. That's four more. The crowd uh, in ecstasy. It's not a very large crowd today, partly because of the weather. It's very warm. But uh, whoever is here, the Wanderers today. Donald Azaruddin. Uh, once more. He, this is a fielder has no chance at all. There's so much power in that shot. So much shoulder, so much timing. Sometimes you have to pay the price to be too attacking. As they're really going after the bowling. This one coming very quick on to him. India lose their fifth wicket for the score of 266. Let's have a look at this. Shot, quick. Nowhere in the position as he wanted to hook that. He gives a dolly at mid on. Another catch for Hudson in Test cricket. Mohammad has been gone for 18. India five for 266. And see Cronier looks quite happy at the moment. He was looking a little tense in the morning. To show the ball, ball is doing. There he goes and get his hundred. He should get uh, at least two here. And uh, he got it uh, quite easily. And what a great feeling to score a hundred. And that has to be a, not at home but abroad. Well, great relief for this very talented young man. And a hug from his batting partner. Very, very happy. And listen to this generous applause from the Wanderers crowd. I said so before that uh, it won't only be the teammates in the dressing room like that standing to applaud. He got a standing ovation from every single person in this, this crowd. About 10, 12,000 people here today. And that was the, the reason for this applause. 101, his first test century. And I'm very sure the first of many to come. Full delivery and hit through the covers, four runs. He's this is a way backward a point, and I think it'll have enough on it just to beat uh, the fielder to the boundary. It does. Kumbli was back. Having said that, he does go for the shot and gets it away down to third man for four runs. He uses the crease well. He runs wide and he bowls close to the wickets and that changes the line. Well, there we are. We were just talking about it. Anil Kumble didn't pick the run. Now there's a classic shot. Absolutely superb shot of a man in form, and this is what we've been waiting for, for him to come out of his shell and play now. Obviously, uh, to impart that knowledge is not that easy, so uh, Madanlal deserves a great deal of credit. That's through the field. It's going to be at least two and probably three as Sean Pollock has to come across from mid on. Not going to reach the boundary. They're already into the third as he picks it up. So thoughts of a fourth, but... Uh, Dravid quite happy to stay down at the striker's end. A glorious go drive and uh, should go all the way to the boundary. And the moment he gets one, he never hesitates to play his fluent go drive. Very cool collective. And this one, a flowing cover drive and going all the way to the boundary. And this time, the timing was perfect. 
But this is as good a cover drive as one would. The ball will be leaving the bat, not it won't be coming in. So if he hits over the top, then he has to be precise. And this time he picked it very nicely and put him away over mid wicket. Well, this is an old-fashioned uh, tail team. Down to third man, should get uh, at least three here. Depends on David whether he would like to come. Yes, he's ready. So three more good runs for Srinath. They picked him up very nicely. That obviously is their target first, maybe more than that, but 400 seems to be their target. And played it nicely, used his wrist, and it's a very good stroke. Uh, it's not uh, the easiest stroke to play with quick delivery coming onto your bat. But he picked it up very nicely. He won't be find it very easy to bowl on this ground. That's a good connection indeed. Four more runs to Srinath. Really just standing and delivering, but why not? It's not a, not a uh, upper order batsman. Trying it again, that time along the ground. And it's also beaten the field through the gap. And that's four more. So that's eight runs off two deliveries. And Paul Adams is starting to take some stick from... Uh, Javagal Srinath. Summer. No reason why he should change his game. And if he's getting support from his other players, then who knows if it comes off, they might end up getting 500. It didn't on this occasion. That's a lovely shot from Srinath. Quicker ball from Adams, and that's four. And all these runs will come. Indian flag flying there in the stand, and why not? fine shot from driver that really is a beautiful shot the on drive is one of the nicest shots in the book to see and also to play and that control was absolutely superb and that's india's 400 in 880 odd deliveries and uh, the crowd have certainly enjoyed that Srinath going after Donald, it is straight up in the air, Andrew Hudson underneath it, and very similar dismissal to Mohammed Azraddin, and Srinath is on his way, Alan Donald's taking the wicket, caught Hudson, and uh, India lose their seventh wicket, seven for 403, but a good performance by Srinath, he played very nicely indeed for his 41. Umpire's having a bit of a chat in the middle as well, so whether that's a... Get the batsman fending off the rips or off the face. And is he caught? He is indeed. Very good catch indeed by Daryl Cullinan at first slip and Ganesh is caught at slip. The ball going right across him as a result of Donald going round the wicket and it was at high pace and a low and very good catch indeed by Cullinan. Yes, he dropped a simple catch off Rathore but this one going low. He had to stay low. The ball was dropping, it's not easy to catch, it's not easy to get your hands under the ball. At He's exactly on nine hours. That's mammoth stuff. This is in the air, is he caught? He is. Well, what a pity that such a wonderful innings has got to end just too short of his 150 and on the stroke of nine hours at the wicket. It was a tired end to his innings but what a brilliant innings it has been for india and lovely to see hansi Kornia run all the way across the field and pat raul dravid on the back he got the wicket Port pollock took the catch at deepish mid-off but nice to see the south african captain run across pat him on the back and the south africans giving him as warm applause as the huge wondrous crowd what an innings yes it's a tremendous innings for the young man getting his first test century Play going and he's off the mark with a four along the ground through the slip cordon first boundary of the morning not a convincing shot uh, bottom hand it's a good stroke, solidly struck, didn't even think about running because he didn't have to. Well, that's a terrific stroke from... Nicely played too, that swung in late to Hudson. Oh, and 
the midfield and he's got ball for it. It's nicely played by Hudson. They should get three here. If it doesn't go for four, which it doesn't. In fact, that's good running. Very good running from Gary Kirsten in particular. As this is hit away safely. And four or six. It was marginal. Signal six. Good shot from Andrew Hudson. One hasn't really seen him uh, play the hook shot, uh, Andrew Hudson. Up on his toes. That's a classic Kirsten shot all the way for four. Really plays that well. He's got a very strong bottom hand. And there he He's not a tall man, but he got up. First ball, he's out. And there it is. What a good decision by Captain Sachin Tendulkar. Changed the bowling extremely quickly much earlier than normal in only the 10th over of the innings and Andrew Hudson who has perennially been suspect against spin gets caught brilliantly by Azruddin at slip first ball quick delivery good bounce and this is what I've been predicting for so long that Anil Kumble if he changed his line from middle and leg to off would gain a lot of help from the Wanderers wicket and from others around in Centurion Park and so on look how happy he is a plan off the mark, that'll go for four. So Adam Bacher off the mark uh, to the great joy. There's a wonderful atmosphere here at the Wanderers. It seems they call it the bull ring, and that's because the stands are all so close. So the people feel part of the game, and certainly they play their part, and the players feel as though they really are on top of them. So there's a great, great atmosphere here. It's spine tingling when the crowd goes up in applause. Now angling this under the leg stump. Kirsten is quick to take advantage. They're going to run. No, they've run two and settle for that. Edge and dropped. And that'll go for four. Very fast outfield, even though we've had so much rain. Frustration for another edge. And very fortunate here. Gary Kirsten did not intend that at all. Unlucky Shunat. Very, very frustrating for him. The Fine stroke, slightly over pitched, and this is one of the strengths of Adam Bacher. He's always prepared to play his shots. Now that's close, and he's out. He's given him. Well, we've known that English umpires do tend to do this. Adam Bacher deciding not to play a shot, and Javagal Srinath gets his reward, Adam Bacher, LBW for 13. We'll see in the replays that Adam Bacher was far forward, but the ball was angling in towards the stumps. And of course, it doesn't matter if the pad is outside of stump if you don't play a shot. Hitting him on the knee roll, maybe bouncing over. He's disappointed, and quite rightly so. Which brings Daryl Cullen on. That really is a terrific shot from Daryl Cullinan. And these outfields here in South Africa certainly do reward the batsman for fine strokes. And so as soon as he's seen Cullinan come to the wicket, he's brought Venkatesh Prasad. I think it's not going quite uh, the captain's way at the moment. Cullinan flicking the ball away for three. And he's got him! That is a terrific delivery, misjudged by Gary Kirsten, and that off stump has been knocked out the ground from a facade delivery that just jagged back a little bit. And perhaps an indication that Peter Willey was not so wrong after all when he gave uh, Adam Bucker out leg before. Remember, Adam Bucker got his pad in front. Gary Kirsten missed it altogether. And I can see that uh, Prasad is a lot slower than uh, Javagal Srinath, but not by much. Gary Kirsten completely misjudging that, expecting the ball to run along with the angle towards the wicketkeeper. The ball nipping back and knocking the off stump out of the ground. And that's almost an identical copy of the way Gary Kirsten got out in Durban. And uh, obviously Kirsten not happy. 29. 
Brings the South African captain to the crease. The ball only some 16 odd overs old, so it's still quite hard and new and shiny. And uh, for him, South Africa cannot afford to lose another wicket. Off the mark straight away with a boundary. Look, Prasad trying to go a little quick, short, wide, just the kind of delivery a batsman is looking for to get off the mark. Get off the mark. That's a fine shot. Well, Colin just working that off his pads. And Prasad not, not able to get around to stop that boundary. So another good example of the form and the timing that Cullinan has. And that's another magnificent shot for four. Not bad bowling at all, just very good batting. Indeed, uh, most batsmen would have been quite content to defend those found the gap. Well, that's a fine shot by the captain. Once again, not a half volley but stroking it through that vacant spot in the covers. Well, just an indication of how good this pitch is. In fact, the ball's coming onto the bat a lot more nicely. And look at that. That's vintage Daryl Cullen, and that's a glorious off-drive. Splendid stroke. That's what I like about Cullen, that uh, he doesn't miss opportunities. At that moment he came in, he started playing the stroke from the word go. And this is a sign of... Uh, Oh. That's better, that's four runs, you see, that will give him a lot of confidence because it's the short pitch deliveries that have given him most trouble and he has said, I'm going to go after Srinath, if he starts bowling at my head, I'm going to go after him, now that wasn't quite at the head, but... He'll get four runs, there's no third man, he was late in playing the shot, but he... he, he Played it neatly in the end and got it between second slip and gully and down to third man for four. That's beautifully struck away. It was more of a tired delivery from Suranas and Cullinan having no problem to just dispatch that in front of square for four. And that might just be... Oh, it's out! I was about to say that might be four more and brilliantly caught just in front of square leg because Daryl Cullinan hit that very hard indeed. Pankaj Zarmani who is substituting for the injured Lakshman. He was at forward short leg but he'd been pushed back to square leg. Srinath banging another one in short. This one has been struck right of the middle of the bat and Pankaj Zarmani latching onto it. He's looking at his fingers but he's done the job. Daryl Cullinan after a brilliant 33 out, 139 for four. No ball. In the air, went for it in the end, Mongia under it and completes the catch. And there was something reasonably inevitable about that. Yes, Hansi Krone was completely at sea against Javagal Srinath. Not often have uh, Indian bowlers frightened the life out of uh, batsmen overseas. Hansi Krone was definitely not going to get behind the line of the ball. He was just going to play his shots. And that, that miss hook taken by Nair Nogia. Connie out for an unconvincing. And Indian fielding has been very good today. That was over pitch on the leg stump. Beautifully played by Macmillan. Well, that's beaten the field very cleanly past the cover point fielder. Very well balanced, uh, well struck, middle of the bat shot. Over pitch delivery on the legs. Sean Pollock flicks it away beautifully towards the. Oh, that's a nice shot. Not not very safe, little out of reach of the man at slip to get three runs. Uh, that's going to be four runs. Beautiful drive right through extra cover between the man at cover point and wide mid off. Well placed, well connected. 
magnificent shot from Sean Pollock. Srinath was running um, um, injured, then Prasad was running a temperature, and here Prasad seems to be straying a little, doesn't he? That's right, that's what I said, he's looking a little tired, that was a bouncer, a very slow one. And we've seen on this wicket, Kishore, that when you pitch the ball... Well, over to you. Oh no, over to you. Well, bad luck for that young man, wasn't it? And he can still smile about it. Maybe he's... This one goes very fine. Far too fine for Venkatesh Prasad to even make an attempt of stopping it. Delicate little stroke from Sean Pop. Well, that's the shot of his innings so far. He really played that superbly. Looking to get on the front foot, brings up the 50 partnership, and then he came back, just rocked back onto the back foot and chose the gap perfectly. South Africa nearing the 200. 198.5. That 51 coming up in only 56 minutes and 86 balls. That's the South African 200. Gee, that's a very good shot from Sean Pollack. Just standing up on his toes and smashing that through the covers just border square beautiful stroke sometimes you don't have to hit it hard you just have to time it and there's bat on that again and that's four more for sean pollock Brian mcmillan going for the pull a little bit uppish didn't quite hit the middle of the bat certainly get uh, three here and that's a good bit of chasing and three it is to Big Brian McMillan. That's a good shot from Pollock. Not very short at all, actually just marginally short, but Pollock picking up the length very quickly and dispatching it past mid on for four. Three not looking very tired. The feet, where I mean, the air is quite thin. That is a magnificent shot. Goodness me, this man's in pretty good nick. I certainly enjoyed it, but just to continue is that the, uh, the captain should really restrict the bowlers to five over spells. Five the game, these two bowlers, Venkatesh Prasad and Srinath, will have to bowl long spells. That's another boundary that's brilliantly played. That wasn't very short. That's 50 for Sean Pollock, that's a brilliant innings. He came in at the wicket when South Africa were 147 for five. He's in 10 fours in his 50. And that really is a great performance. 91 balls only, 100 minutes. And, uh, running the ball down to the vacant third man region, and that's four more. South Africa five for 245 and going along nicely. Short one, Pollock going after it, and he's hit that very nicely indeed. And four more runs to this young all-rounder in front of square. That's 100 run partnership between the two, Sean Pollock and Brian McMillan. Just well played. That's poor stuff from Trinat. He's pulled so well in the morning. And that's a big shout, and Peter Willey's given him out. So, Brian McMillan's on his way, just has a little bit of a look at Peter Willey, I feel maybe there was an inside nick. I thought I heard something through my headphones, but uh, let's have a look at that replay. It was certainly in line, and India are very happy that man's not, so he misses out another 50. Let's have a close look here. Can't really make out from here. He's trying to play it across right in front of the wicket. South Africa six down for 259. And uh, he played very nicely and opened the face of the bat. And uh, there's no 
third man. So played wide off uh, point. And a very well stuck boundary. Well, every time Saurav Ganguly is given a bit of width. Playing that very late and picking up four runs. Well, there's the first draw that this crowd has been able to have for some time. Dave Richards to the game. He's gone, and there he tried the shot again, and that's how, how we've been talking about how clever Ganguly is. He holds out the carrot. Dave Richardson got away with it once, didn't get away with it again, closing his eyes in frustration, and that really was made look even simpler by this wonderful Azaruzdin. He's, he's a great, great slip fielder, one of the best I've ever seen, and uh, he just stood and touched this one as though it was a fly. Look at that. But really, another difficult catch made look good. Ganguly, this man is underrated. Let me tell you, Dave Richardson goes for 13, 208. Nolan Adams. Lance Klosner deciding that he's had, he's had enough of just watching and prodding. At Ganguly's pace, he was going to have a go. He's gone over the top of mid-on for a boundary. Well, that's out. Umpire Mitchley wasn't uh, about to give a decision uh, until Sean Pollock himself walked. That was a beauty of a delivery from Javagal Srinath. He has really bowled well. Sprayed the ball a little bit uh, in the early part of the over down the leg side, but he's got this ball to move away a little bit and that nick being gobbled by Nayan Mongia. And Sean Pollock, after a superb innings, of 79 is out he has taken south africa away from the specter of a follow-on in that partnership with brian mcmillan and the crowd rising to him well this is a huge hit and it's going to be six and the crowd love it yes the crowds love the big hits the stick says that's what they come to watch they might like the cover drives and the flicks and the on drives for boundaries bowled him held it back slow ball clever bit of bowling from Venkatesh Prasad and Donald's middle stump has gone yes, he does have a very very good uh, slow delivery Venkatesh Prasad very effective it is uh, in one day cricket he's also got wickets with it in uh, in England this one uh, the leg cutter you can see rolling his fingers over the ball ball didn't deviate too much but because it came so slow it deceived alan donald he's bowled for four south africa 318 for nine so the new batsman is paul App and he's out he needs only one srinath to bag his five wickets and paul adams is out caught at short leg off the inside edge and then I think onto the pad and Paul Adams on his way. And Srinath leading the Indian team off the field and deservedly so that inside edge going as a simple catch to forward short leg giving Srinath five wickets in an innings. Uh, and there the hand comes out to shake the bowler who's really bowled uh, manfully, shouldered the burden for the Indian team. Rahul Dravid, the centurion in the first innings. The first to congratulate Srinath. So Adams out for two with just five ball carry to the second slip fielder. That'll be four, which is a sharp, short delivery from Lance Klusner. And nine Mongia just fending it away. Another short delivery, Mongia. Playing it very well indeed. Alan Donald down there at fine leg was unsighted. Now, the Wonders Cricket Ground is not a good sighting ground. The stands are nice and steep, so often you lose the ball in the crowd. It's another very good effort by Andrew Hudson, I think it was, in the gully. Alan Donald applauding that. And uh, obviously it must have carried Mongi just sparring at that one a little bit. But gee, it would have been a remarkable catch. Let's have another look here. Short again, Mongia following it. 
just getting his fingers to it. It would have been an outstanding catch if he'd taken it. There's runs for Retour. Certainly two. I think that's all it'll be. That was well played in that uh, vacant region down the third man. Gary Kirsten tidying up. And this will amuse him uh, not a bit because Vikram Rato tried to take his bat off at the last moment. There is just a slip in a gully and the ball has gone off the full face. This is through and will go to the boundary. It wasn't a particularly aggressive shot. He seemed to just push at it, but he timed it well enough and it got past the diving cover point. Mongia's approach is very, very good. His concentration is tremendous. It's nicely played. A long chase for Kluzner. He won't make it. So India move on to 80 now for no wicket. With the team having got off to a brilliant start, 72, another boundary added to that straight drive from uh, Nan Mongi of yet another full toss from uh, Paul Adams. They would be calculating as to what would be a good of the Indian captain and the senior members of the team. The intention there, as you can see from this shot as well, he swung it over between mid wicket and mid on bit of a cross batted shot that but uh, it's still four runs you have to hurry no, he's there and home and dry for a test 50 well played young man Gold. edged and out 50 completed, next ball, a really useful delivery from Alan Donald and Brian McMillan making no mistake. Oh, that's a nasty delivery to receive, whether you're 0 or 150. It's a good shot. Really good stroke, that. Back down the ground between mid-on and the stumps. Quicker one, pulled away for four. No problem whatsoever. Driven through extra cover exquisitely. Once again, the confidence from that century. Getting. It's four more. So, the scoring rate going along very nicely indeed since the luncheon interval. Spot. Big appeal and out. I think Vikram Rator knew he was out too. I almost, he almost walked for that. Yes, I think he knew the moment the ball struck him on the pads that uh, that was it. His innings uh, had come to an end. This is what Tom has been striving for, trying to get Vikram Rato on to the back foot in front of the wicket, noticing that Vikram Rato goes back and across. Absolutely plumb. Gone for 44, India 109 for 2. Kishore Bimani. Tendulkar finds that gap. He'll get at least two, probably three. Now he's got four. Lies with the responsibility on his shoulders, facing Hansi Kroni's next delivery. That was a loose shot. And he's gone. He's done him again. Played a loose shot again, and the Indian skipper is back to the pavilion. Now, this is disaster for India, because remember, VVS Lakshman will not bat. He's got a fractured right hand, or perhaps he will bat, but in a very, very painful condition. Now, Tendulkar gone. And uh, the game suddenly opens up again. That's how Sachin went. Ball pitching just outside the off It came in. Sachin wanted to play it without moving his feet. And what a great catch completed by Mr. Reliable, Dave Richardson. Sachin Tendulkar gone for nine. India three. 
Oh, beautifully done. That's down the... It's going to beat uh, Paul Adams. It's a fine shot from Dravid. Obviously in good nick following his magnificent innings in the first innings. 148 he got, and he hasn't wasted much time today getting after the South African bowling. That was pretty well played, just gliding off the middle of the bat through that vacant area through the gully. No third man, of course, so that's four runs to Ganguly. That's well played by Ganguly. Beautiful timing once again through the covers. That's four more. Terrific shot this from Mazner again from the corner drive end. Four more runs to Dravid. Short ball from Klusner. Dravid going on the cut, knowing there's no third man. Not quite hitting it off the middle. Rene. And he pulled it uh, over mid wicket and should get about four or maybe just. Uh, and another poor piece of fielding from Kirsten. Kirsten is not having a good day. Again, once again, as a fielder, he missed field on first and second day. Now, once again, he should have only three. And shot one, he picked up early and then hit it over mid wicket. And it's a huge six. And uh, they're very much uh, on the up and putting pressure on South African uh, sides. And this one again slicing out the off stump and beating a point fielder. He opened the face of the bat once again. And the timing has been superb. And this has been the strength of uh, the goalie. And it has also been a weakness at times. It's sh just shot outside the off stump. Ganguly opens the face of the bat, runs it down, back to the point. Glorious uh, drive through the covers. And this is the strength of Ganguly. And India 167 for three. And this Short. one pulling it very nicely from outside the off stump. This is the strength of uh, David's betting whenever he. Again, a glorious cover drive. You cannot ask for a better stroke. This would give any batsman a lot of satisfaction. What a... Once again, full toss, and his placement is superb. Rahul Dravid continuing from where he left in the first innings. He scored 100. And, and there he cuts it beautifully outside off stump. And uh, there's no opportunity for anybody to stop that one. And that's all. He completes his 50. What a brilliant day. Gangoli is on 46. Needs four more runs for his second 50. And this one he's played beautifully outside off stump. Slashing and there was no fielder at uh, the third man. Then uh, completing his 50. Another good mark uh, from Gangoli and is staying in dressing room, appreciating his efforts. What a beautiful shot from Gangoli. Loves to play on the offside. And that's gone for four runs. That's beautifully executed. Shoulder, elbow, foot head in the right position right on top of the ball the outfield is also pretty fast uh, it rained earlier now it's died up fully because it's sunshine whole day and this one leaning into stroke and picking the gap but well is he going to ask for it and he is two brilliant throws there i might say Gary Kirsten, on the one, Sean Pollock throwing the wicket down at first, and then a cheeky single by the Indians. And we'll have to wait and see for the Pena Eyes decision. There's the first throw, well in. Rather frustration than anything else, but the young men deciding to, and he's well in again. So, 
Good running there by the Indians. We're given safe by third umpire Dave Orchard. That's a big one. Really superb shot. It bounced about 10 or 15 meters in, but umpire Willie, no hesitation in signaling the boundary. What a good stroke. This Bowled ah! him, and that was the wrong one. As the first loose shot that we've seen for a long, long time, and Ganguly goes. Very, very fine innings indeed. 60 in only 93 balls and at last the super crowd of 26,000 has something to shout about yes they have been fairly quiet while the Indians have been making merry and Ganguly deceived by that wrong one all right but he knew that the team needed quick run so he's played that shot more for his, for his team than for himself trying to make a little bit of room to play it on the offside He's given him, he's given him, he looked as, as though he was going to play it to the onside. And umpire Peter Willey gives another LBW decision. Azruddin is not happy. He stopped, he's turned around and there must have been some words. And certainly umpire Cyril Mitchley is talking to the fielders and he's now walking up to Peter Willey to have another word with him. So something was said by the South Africans, some loose talk, and it was from Pollock. They're calling him up and they're having some words with him. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Mamad Azaruddin is not one who will indulge in words. He's never done anything unsporting in his life. And certainly, if Pete Sean Pollock did say something and it did look to me as if it would have gone down the leg side, maybe a bit of bat also in it. Yeah, without a doubt, that was a shocking decision. And not his first one, two... Good shot by Dravid, and that may be one. Alan Donald's pretty quick across the field, but it's going to beat him, and that's four. Fine shot by Dravid, and Peter Willey signaling to the scorers. There's the Indian flags waving all over the place. So... And he's got him. That's a terrific delivery from young Paul Adams. And he is delighted, celebrates with his fellow keeper. And it was the quicker... Delivery again, quicker and flatter, turning in to the right-hand batsman. And Paul Adams has certainly enjoyed that one. The flags are flying, the crowd enjoyed as well. And it sends Anil Kumble, Anil Kumble on his way as the South Africans celebrate. If you see that again, Anil Kumble never read it at all. He just saw it go past. So Kumble's on his way for six. Six for two now. Two wickets he's got. Went for runs while Ganguly and Dravid were together at the crease. Peel for LBW. Up goes the finger. That was very full from Donald. It looked pretty straight. And Sriner, who does walk right across in front of his stumps, particularly when facing the fast bowlers, is out LBW to Alan Donald. And more than the wicket, what is of concern for the Indians would be the, the way Srinath is. It's caught. Well, he's trying to force the pace. He plays a most unlike driver shot, but understand the situation. He was looking for runs. And uh, that one, I think, turned and bounced a little bit on him out of the rough patches and outside the leg stump. And as a result of it, he couldn't control it. And easy catch for the man alongside the square leg umpire. Yes, the ball also came on a little bit slowly, given a bit more air. The fielder has been moved from mid-wicket to square leg, and a simple catch there near the square leg umpire. And isn't Adams happy? But yet another fine innings from young Dravid, out for 80. Well, Ganesh had intentions of hitting it into call it drive, but he didn't. 266 for eight. Suddenly, Sachin Teldendulkar has decided to declare at 266 for eight. He's bowled! He's bowled in! Oh, what 
a breakthrough for India. The third last ball or second last ball of the day. Hudson making the fatal mistake of going back. Of course, a new batsman will not come out now. If a wicket falls in the last over, that's the end of the day's play, and this is how it happened. Well, the ball rushing in. This is the flipper that Kumble bowls and rattling these thumbs. That's a very, very important breakthrough for India. This is what they wanted to do, get at least a wicket before the end of the day's play. They've done that. South Africa have lost Hudson. Out. Well, what a start that is for India. Just what they wanted. Kirsten looking to cut that away square. And it flew to Vikram Rator at slip, who took a very good catch indeed. Uh, this is a very lazy shot from Gary Kirsten. He's just come into bat on the second day, on, in the second inning, I'm sorry. And he's not even got set. There's no movement of his feet. Look at that. Hardly any movement of his feet. And trying to cut it. Good hard catch there by Vikram Rato. Venkatesh Prasad strikes once more. He's uh, had uh, Gary Kirsten a few times in this series. Got him bowled a couple of times, but this time getting him to edge to Vikram Rato. Rato's got a safe pair of hands. And uh, South Africa. Nicely played away by Cullinan. Certainly get two and look for three here. Struck away. Beautiful shot. He hasn't got all the power into it that he would have liked, but it's kept the fielder interested and got away for four. Nicely on top of the... away for two Adam Bucker won't have a problem and back to the second there was a shot to catch it but he went very quickly past the man at short leg stroke cracking cricket shot that and that will certainly make Adam back as we watched Daryl Collins just edge one through the slips no third man of course so it's four more runs to him There's runs, we'll have to wait and see if it's uh, bat or pad. And by Peter, Peter Willey confirming it was leg buys, but it's four runs to South Africa. Wayward delivery from Srinath. You can see in the background he's not... I first thought it was a shout for a leg before. Then that uh, catch was completed and it was very obvious that they were, uh, in fact, appealing for that. Fine shot from Adam Bucker, who's very strong on the offside, anything slightly short, and uh, dispatches that back with a point for four. Run, certainly one, they'll look for two. And a bit of juggling by the fielders on the fence and they'll come back for three, so that's not very clever cricket. Fine shot from Adam Bucker, that's through the covers, that'll be four. Well played. The pressures of the situation have... Another drive by Adam Barker, that's four more. Fine shot through the covers, picking that gap again. And Prasad just over pitching slightly, and Adam Barker taking full toll. South Africa now two for 47. He's got him. That is a terrific delivery. Adam Barker again not playing a shot for the second time in this test match, and Prasad celebrates. That ball bouncing off a length. And it looked to me, Kishore, like it hit Adam Barker on the elbow. So it's a little bit unfortunate that it ricocheted on the stumps. But the end result is, so that... This could be another four, although it was a defensive shot. Very nicely played by Cullinan. He got right over the top of it. But the outfield down that side, very fast and umpire so much confirmed. Beautiful. This is vintage Cullinan. He's always on the lookout for the drive, loves that shot, and the first delivery of an... No, no ball, and this will go for four. He didn't change the shot because of the call, and 
I was mentioning a little earlier just how he pushes the hands away from the body and this is because the ball was Now that was a disaster, an absolute disaster. Hansi Kronje almost seemed as though he was half asleep. Um, Anil Kumble ran across him, yes, but certainly he should not have allowed that. He should have barged him aside if necessary, but he should have been backing up far more quickly. And really, it was almost as though he, he wasn't thinking. Watch how he backs up here. Well, I don't think there was a run in Italy. The ball has been pushed just a little bit wide off the pitch. Now, look and it gave enough time for Anil Kumli to go and what a simple run out Hansi Kronia nowhere in the picture he comes into the picture now but there simply was no run in it and one would have to question Daryl Cullinan's judgment in calling his captain for that run South Africa are 71 for four Brian McMill that's out that's definitely out that pad a thick one you could hear the two sounds and Brian McMillan is gone so South Africa even deeper in the mire than before. Great bowling. Sunil Gavaska was praising Chachin Tendulkar for keeping him on because he is a great strike bowler and that was the result. Yes, he's got the big wicket. Brian McMillan's had uh, an outstanding series so far, but you can see that thick edge onto his pads. A simple catch to Pankaj Zarmani. Srinath not pulling quite as quick because he's had a very, very long spell, but he's accurate getting... That's out. That's definitely out. That pad, a thick one. You could hear the two sounds and Brian McMillan is gone. So South Africa even deeper in the mire than before. Great bowling. Sunil Gavaska was praising Chachin Tendulka for keeping him on because he is a great strike bowler and that was the result. Yes, he's got the big wicket. Brian McMillan's had uh, an outstanding series so far, but you can see that thick edge onto his pads. A simple catch to... Pankaj Zarmani, Srinath not pulling quite as quick because he's had a very, very long spell, but he's accurate getting the ball to nip back in. He's got Srinath. And he bowled him straight away with the second delivery. What else one India can ask for? South Africa, 78 for the loss of six wickets. Sean Pollock gone straight away without scoring runs in this innings. Scored a brilliant 79 in the first innings. India right in the driver's seat. What a wicket to get with the second delivery. And at the moment, he beaten the batsman with the pace than anything else. And he came in a little bit slightly outside the perfect delivery and off stump and hitting off as well. Mohinder, I feel if they're going to try and defend, they're going to lose easily. If they play the natural game, they're going to be all right. Six down for... And uh, we should uh, get at least three or maybe four. And now Phil is still pretty fast. And it fell in and actually just lean into the stroke. He didn't really hit it hard, but the timing was absolutely superb. That's a over pitch delivery, beautifully timed. Didn't have to do much. Richardson there fetches him four runs. A good delivery and he's gone. Dave Richardson, well, well held by Azruddin and India, get the seventh wicket. It's not an easy catch to take. Ben takes an outside edge, but Azaruddin is a brilliant fielder. Doesn't matter whether he's in close in or outfield, and he's diving to his right and coming up with another great catch. And the seventh South African wicket falls here. Richardson caught Azaruddin, and you can see how well he's taken the catch. In the slip, there was slip and a gully, and the ball was going down and just picking up inches above the ground. A great catch. One of the best fielders in the world, Mohammad Azruddin. He held a beautiful catch in the first innings as well. Dave Richardson gone for seven. That was an over pitch delivery, beautifully played. And the man looks good when he plays his strokes, he's very graceful all the time on top of the ball. Likes to play with a straight bat, Daryl Kalinan. 100, 101 for seven. Shot, they've got a fielder for him over there, but that ball carries over the boundary. That's six runs for Kalinan, and that's his 50. 
Another great shot played by Kalinan and a beautiful innings from Daryl Kalinan. Tremendous blow here. There were two men waiting for the hook shot. But he took a chance. And pulling it uh, vigorously from outside the off stump. He's, uh, he's picking the line very well. He's getting into position very well. He's decided to go for a shot because he knows Srinath is the main bowler for India. Then he wants to hit up at the ball from the time it was delivered and onto his bat. It's in front of the square. Anil Kumble once again. An OP's delivery. And Kalinan doesn't miss many of them. Kumble trying an extra bit over there, over pitching. You know, there doesn't have many batsmen to follow, so he wants to attack. And this time he's picking the half volley beautifully and driven it past the bowler. Runs here as the ball bounces above Srinath's outstretched arm. He's very weary. And uh, I suspect that he's got a shoulder problem. He's holding it now as he walks back. Heavy workload. That'll be four. Very good shot indeed. Nothing better in cricket to see than to see a ball hit straight back past the bowler. And even though the outfield down there particularly is wet and slow, the ball still rolls over the boundary. A smallish crowd getting great thrills out of that boundary. And pulled it very nicely. Short ball outside the stump got into position very early once again. Kalinan, he's waiting for these uh, short deliveries. He knows that he is going to get quite a few whenever Prashad and uh, Prashad is bowling well and is driven beautifully. You cannot ask for a better stroke. He's getting into position early. And he test match. Saru Gangoli, Ganesh bowling his first ball. And driven beautifully past mid off. Although the foot was never next to the ball, but it doesn't matter. Run always counts. And he. And that was uh, the one that was a leg spin. It turned into Klusner. He spotted it. And my goodness, did he half hammer that one away through the covers? Yes, a bad ball is a bad ball. And irrespective of the position that South Africa finds itself in, Lance Klusner is not. This one, he's got into the gap, but he's only going to get one and maybe two. They'll turn for the second. This will be it. It's a bad ball, and he gets onto it and hooks it back with a square for four. Up go both hands. His teammates on their feet. And he gets a bad one from Tendorka and he punishes it. He really smashes it away to midwicket for four. Tendorka won't mind this too much because when you go after a bad ball, you can still get out playing it. This is a full toss now from Srinath. It looks as though he's quite intent on bowling well up to the batsman. I think that if he started bowling at their heads... Well, this is going to be four runs. And whereas Cullinan decided not to take on the short deliveries from Srinath... Well, he's got one away through and it's a beautiful shot and it's going to go for four. And backed away, gave himself the room. It was just a bit short from from Lee, and he cracked it to the boundary. Kumble bowling a little bit uh, short, wide. Nicely struck by uh, Lance Klusner. Batting exceedingly well. Oh, there was a half chance that. Short pitch delivery and should fly the ball much more. And this one he did, but beautifully played through the covers. Closer is not missing any opportunity to score runs. And what a good inning he has played here. 
midfield from Rato in the covers. He should have stopped that one. And this one turned and he's gone. And the ball turned round the wicket, hit his club. And went straight into forward short leg. The wicket they wanted, they got it now. Cricket is a funny game. India's back to the game. Yes, Jimmy, cricket is a funny game. Just about 10 overs remaining, two wickets to get. And what are those two wickets? Alan Donald and Paul Adams. So the game comes alive again, yet again. This Wanderers match has been one of seesawing fortunes. And uh, now suddenly it's alive again. This time the ball hitting the rough and bouncing awkwardly and hitting the bottom hand and going straight into waiting forward short leg. Uh, and you can make out. Uh, from uh, Rahul David's uh, action that how pleased they are to get a breakthrough and South Africa lose the eight wickets 49 just decided to go for everything and he's getting four here he was not keen to go for one and a good effort from Dhamani at deep square leg diving to his left and now I think Indian got to stop a single here to Things looking a bit uh, grim. It will be very sad if uh, we decide to go off. It seems that uh, the light has uh, really gone bad and the uh, umpire decided and asked the batsman if they would like to carry on. Well, he then played a brave knock for his team and more or less I would say helped his team to manage to draw this game because the five overs to go and it all depends whether the light improves or it doesn't I think they have to go in and then wait for the light to improve but the chance it looks very dim yes it's only the formality that is left isn't it they have to wait but uh, it's just a matter of minutes and there is no reason why the light uh, it is steady it's not as if there's a passing cloud or anything and the Indian uh, fielding side looking very 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 dispirited